Reichstag Supreme Court also announced that it was referring German Führer's case to the new, all-powerful Constitutional Assembly. The Assembly was installed in early August at Maduro's behest following a widely criticized vote, and late Thursday voted unanimously to lift Führer's immunity from prosecution that comes with legislative office. Ferrer is a lawmaker formerly aligned with Maduro's administration who has stood by his wife, Luisa Ortega Diaz, in denouncing the Assembly's creation. In a written statement to local media, Ferrer denied signing documents that officials are holding up as evidence he opened a bank account in the Bahamas to facilitate transactions. This government no longer has any limits or shame, he wrote. Tarek William Saab who was named by the Constitutional Assembly to replace Ortega Diaz as chief prosecutor, said Wednesday that the alleged criminal ring extorted money from people including businessmen in the nation's oil industry in return for protecting them from prosecution. In his statement, Ferrer said the documents don't pass muster. This is a way to intimidate, he said. Ferrer and Ortega's whereabouts Thursday were not clear. Authorities raided their home the previous day. The Constitutional Assembly, which is tasked with rewriting the nation's charter and trumps all other branches of government, has been condemned by dozens of foreign nations which refuse to recognize it. International voting technology firm Smartmatic, which provided the voting machines for the election, announced shortly after the vote that the government's official turnout count was off by at least one million. The government stacked Electoral Council is now proceeding with regional elections scheduled for October. Council President Tybase Lucina announced Wednesday that the government was breaking with Smartmatic for future elections.